Hello and welcome to Buckeye Sports Now, your home for everything Ohio State sports. I'm Evan Simkowitz, here with the biggest news in OSU athletics. Despite not making the NCAA tournament and being dismissed from the NIT in the second round, the Ohio State men's basketball team was back in the headlines this week when three members of the 2015 recruiting class, so would-be sophomores next season, all announced their intentions to transfer within a 48-hour period. Starting with big men Daniel Giddens on Monday, first reported by CBS Sports, the Lantern was able to confirm Tuesday afternoon that both A.J. Harris and forward Mickey Mitchell have been granted their release as well. A statement from head coach Thad Mata said, I have given freshman guard A.J. Harris permission to seek a transfer. Mickey Mitchell and Daniel Giddens have asked for their release as well. We appreciate what A.J., Daniel, and Mickey did for our program as freshmen and we wish them well. The three first-year players put together an average of 8.6 points per game and each appeared in at least 23 games. Of the three, Giddens led the group with seven starts last season. With those three gone, guard Jaquan Lyle remains the lone member of Mata's 2015 recruiting class as former guard Austin Grandstaff announced he is joining the Oklahoma Sooners next season after leaving the team 10 games into his OSU career. Yesterday, OSU baseball opened up their schedule for the home week with a single game series against in-state rival Toledo. It was another wild one for the boys of summer. Austin Woodby allowed five runs and eight hits, getting lifted in the second inning. And unlike in recent weeks, OSU's offense showed up early. They knocked around Toledo's starter for three runs in two thirds of an inning, managing to get four of their eight walks off of him. Redshirt junior Jacob Bosiokovic continues his best Nelson Cruz impersonation, shrugging off the early hamstring injury to hit his seventh home run of the season, building on a new career high. Troy Montgomery's second hit of the day for a pair of RBIs in the ninth would ice it. Final score, nine to eight. He walk off wins, it's unreal. Um, so we all knew we were gonna do in that ninth inning. We uh, all stayed positive, we had a game plan. Get the first guy on Troy Kuhn, hit a nice little double. Um, and then Jay, Moved him over, did his job, and bases loaded. Everybody did their job, it felt like, um, and then got a game winning double, so. The number of Buckeyes vying for invites to the Olympic Games in Rio this summer is growing. We heard last week from a couple of wrestlers who returned to Columbus national champions who have their eye on the games. And today, we spoke to some members of the men's gymnastics team, who by the way, are ranked third in the nation heading into the Big Ten Championship this weekend here in Columbus, who have their eye on the titles, both collegiately and at the next level. The, the 20 year anniversary of when Big Tens was last hosted at St. John Arena, in which that team won, so we're looking to repeat this year. Uh, just live one day at a time, enjoy the process, and just have fun with it. I mean, there's no point in getting too stressed out about everything and trying to think ahead of everything, because this is just as important as making Rio for me right now. I'm focused on winning a Big Ten championship as a team, and that's my number one goal for this week. And anything that happens after that, I'll focus on that next step as that, the weeks progress. And who better for the gymnast to train under than former Olympian head coach Rustam Sharapov? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm an Olympian, so I know what, what it's take to, to, to get on this podium. And uh, it's nice to, to see that we have a potentially guys who is uh, this coming summer uh, m m might be on, on a team. And um, I think those competitions like Big Ten and NCAAs, that's uh, another step for, for, for them to get, get to, to ready. Because uh, I, I can tell you that the college experience, you cannot um, substitute with anything. That's all for this week's Buckeye Sports Now. But for more news on campus and sports, watch us throughout the week and check out thelantern.com. Also, don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. And until next time, thanks for watching.